so here we are on the veranda, overlooking the Elephant River. It's an amazing location. Um, we were after buffalo on this hunt, and uh, one of the biggest determining factors was the, the lions. We could hear the lions, and we also heard some leopards at, at night. And the lions will push the buffalo around. So we did quite a bit of walking. Uh, we saw a lot of elephants. If, you, if you're into seeing elephants, there's no need to go to the park. You can see just as many here. Hey, hey somebody go get more. Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Zack, come on. Okay, you move my wrist. What makes this area so special is it's it's one of the very few one of the very few free range hunting areas actually left in southern Africa. You know when you go to Zambia, Mozambique, whatever there, Zimbabwe, yes it's free range, but South Africa has very few free range areas left actually. And and that's what makes this place so special. It takes you back 50, 70 years. Um, if, if you walk into this bush, then you think about how things were back in the day and then you just appreciate appreciate this whole place more. You can never know what you're going to find after the next bush or the next step. So it's always, always exciting with all of the elephants and the hippos and the crocodiles. I, I'll tell you, <coughs> that's, that's why I chose to come here was because it was free range mm -hmm. in, in South Africa. Um, in my opinion, if you want to do it in South Africa, this is the place to do it. The place to do it. The place to do it. <laughs> yeah. sure. I'm not sure what the name of the other river is to the Salati River. river yes. there. That's a beautiful area as yes. well. You know, just walking through those reeds, that's kind of the classic uh, what you think of when you're hunting buffalo mm. is going through there and coming around the corner and, and, and seeing you know, an old dog boy standing there. Yes, um, for sure. That, that, that's exciting. What I've learned is I'm not a very patient guy. So I want to get to the conclusion and get it done with. But in hunting, your mindset needs to be completely different. The decision we've made, it feels like the wrong one at the time because we've been struggling for a couple of days. But you also need to think of some other stuff. If you go in there and you make a mistake now, you need to have patience.
Okay. But the buffaloes gave us quite the challenge in that ridge. The next morning, phew, they were just gone. And um, all of a sudden it's like they hit a wall. They just turned around, bam, they just crossed and went out again. Mm -hmm. Because what you're thinking, sometimes he does completely the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's I'm, why they get old. Yeah. <laughs> A little, a little too soft. In two to three years, I, uh, I plan on coming back, and we'll get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that other I one. I can still see them in my mind. Yes. Yeah, it was just a bit soft in the just, front. Just yeah. a bit. But it was a there, beautiful. There were some other ones that had really deep drops too that were very young that need yeah. at least two or three years to, to get hard. came and that rain changed a lot a lot of the leaves came back out things the, uh, the trees they started turning green uh, and uh, that was a good thing to see the land come 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 back to life to some extent and that's the thing for sure that that makes our hearts glad because we here every day and we see how the animals struggle struggle during a drought and you feel sorry for them man although you hunt the animals you're still put on this earth to also give in conservation. Mm -hmm. You're also put here to help the animals and not only just just to kill them. And unfortunately, that's what most of the greenies think. They think we all just here yeah, to <coughs> shoot everything and kill everything. But if it wasn't for us finding those snares, finding those um, some of those backpacks that the poachers came in with and all that stuff, who Picking else would walk Taking their cooking gear. Taking yeah. their cooking gear. Taking their cooking gear. Yeah. That's animals from this area that they caught in a snare and then eat it in the same area. Mm. Because the snares don't think, oh well, here's a nice old buffalo or here's a calf. They catch anything. Mm. And if there's 15 snares put out then they find something on the first snare, they will not check the rest. And the rest will rot it's there and die in vainly. And, yeah. Yeah. and that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen, but we're hunting with our very own pothead. <laughs> so they're either down by the bridge or they're oh, they went to the that side and crossed here, but they're not sitting on this side. Exactly. Yeah. So they're somewhere in this region in front there. Yeah. We would have seen the tracks if they went up on the left. 
But let's first get across the river and then we can follow the tracks from there. We saw a couple of bull tracks heading into the area and we were, oh wow, wow, this buffalo, we're gonna shoot now. And 300 meters down the road, they just crossed and went out again. The following day, we came across another herd. Uh, this was my first uh, uh, buffalo I've ever taken in a herd, so that was different having all those eyes looking at you. Don't shoot again, don't shoot again. Wait, just wait. I think he's gonna go down. There, there he's going. I didn't expect how it reacted. They didn't run off, they didn't, they did, they, they didn't go far. Yeah, actually, they surrounded the, the buffalo the and he went down. And he only maybe moved, what, eight, eight feet? Yeah, and then went down. not more than 10. Yeah, yeah, I went down. And they waited and they waited and, and for me, I followed up very quickly. And like, like, like you were saying, don't shoot, don't mm. shoot. He's, he, he's done, the, 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 the other buffalo were coming in. What it just shows you the natural instinct that they have is yes. if some if one of them is in is in pain or struggling they all surround and to go and help him all right guys finally i think it was day five six day five we've had uh, quite the run around with this buffalo um but this morning i think it was half past five already we um we found some tracks heading into the area and um, we came across this group you put in two beautiful shots. <laughs> very, very good stuff. The first thing is, I've never shot one in a, in, in a herd. I've never had the mm. opportunity to, to stop the herd and, and get a shot off. And this, and the other thing was, we put in a lot of time looking for this. A lot of time. Looking a lot of miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, there is a lot of lions in this area. That's why, why we found this bull with the herd. Um, that's why you can see the scratches here on the back. That he's won a couple of battles with the lions. But um, yeah, well done, Mr. Brandon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, well, bloody done. Awesome month. But it worked out well for us, right? Perfectly. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. And we got a, a a very nice, a very nice bull, old bull. You can't beat the location, in my opinion. This is the nicest place I've ever, I've ever hunted uh, in South Africa, and uh, the people are great as well. Pulling the trigger is the smallest part of actual hunting. Mm -hmm. What we did, going out looking for that buffalo every day, getting up at, at, at 4 a.m., getting up hopefully by 5, 
<laughs> looking for the tracks, looking for the for the buffalo, looking for the right buffalo. That's that's the, the, the most for me the most enjoyable part of, of hunting. I don't think you should look at elephants with an emotional perspective because you'll see on the video there is proof of what too many elephants does to an area like this. I, I think that that if people saw the the damage that the elephants do being overpopulated, the amarillo trees that are that were once here are all pushed over and almost completely gone. Um, and you could see the bark just stripped off of trees from, from elephants doing that. Yeah. It's sad to see, but unfortunately that's, that's the way it is here and yeah. it's something you can't change at the moment, so you just need to work around it and... Despite all of that, if you look on the positive side, we're all privileged enough to hunt a beautiful, beautiful area like this.